Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Elizabeth, and my channel name is Shy Tongue Girl. And I do have little Miss Kalu over here to my left, so if she decides to invade at any point in time, you've all been warned she just may do that. <laughs> um, today here on the East Coast in the Hudson Valley of New York, it is moderate temperatures. I think it was like 38, 39 degrees, which I'm not complaining. Um, the sun was shining. Um, and now it's already starting, you know, it's already starting to move into evening time, believe it or not. Okay. I do have a Dollar Tree haul for all of you. It's not a super big one, but yeah, it's something I would probably just say like maybe small to medium, maybe, maybe more to medium. I was a pretty good girl. Actually, they didn't have a whole bunch. Um, I couldn't believe it. I was talking to one of the store managers at my local stores and they already have Valentine's Day stuff coming in. I'm like, oi, I don't miss retail from back in the time. Okay, so let's move on here. I'm gonna start with a couple of goodies. Not too many. Like I said, I was a pretty good girl and there really wasn't much. They had uh, not a lot to pick from today. I did find some more of the Russell Stovers, the peppermint, uh, crushed peppermint pieces in the white chocolate fudge. These are 2.95 ounces. You get about eight, I'm averaging like eight to 10 pieces in a bag, which, you know, for a dollar, I guess if you went to a fancy candy store or Russell Stovers, you'd probably pay more than that. But these are also getting extremely hard to find. These are good until April 1st of 2019. So got plenty of time, but these are gonna be going out the door for um, the holidays. I then found some of more of the Dum Dum Pops. These have the eight different flavors. It says over 20 pops. Some of the flavors are hot cocoa, sugar cookie, sugar plum, apple cider, merry cherry, polar punch, gingerbread, and green apple grinch. So there's what it looks like. I use this for my filler bowls. I use it in packages. I use it in all different types of things. Then I came across these and I don't know what possessed me. I guess maybe the kid in me, the curiosity in me, the plain simple like somebody thought of this and they're making a million dollars on it. Okay, these are called the Grocery Gang Crusty Chocolate Bars, two groceries inside. Um, <laughs> like I said, it must be the kid in me. I've never seen such a thing. They were just putting them out. Um, it says, well, they're, it's really kind of, I don't know. It's weird looking. Um, if you guys want to know what one of these look like on the inside, let me know and I'll be happy to do a review on one. Um, it just says two groceries inside crusty chocolate bar. So I'm assuming it's a crusty chocolate bar with two characters inside. I don't know. I don't have any small ones. You guys got to tell me what these are and let me know. And so why do I buy them? I don't know. So I was watching some videos the other night and it was, I think it was Lisa from Lisa's Hauls. Yes. If you don't watch her, um, she has a YouTube channel. She does all kinds of dollar hauls and all kinds of different things. She's a great lady. Um, she had these stocking things, not stockings. Um, scarf things and I was like whoa what is this I gotta check it out so I found them and I have to say to Lisa excuse me ma'am here she comes here's the invasion this is what the top of it looks like and it's a red scarf and then at the each end there's a jingle bell so Lisa had one around her neck and if you watch her video you'll see it and she was like jingling them because they have bells at the end and one of hers didn't ring and I started cracking up and I was just like, oh, you know, that's something that would happen to me. But um, she, so she was like ringing it and nothing was happening. So when I got home, I didn't test them in the store and I was like, okay, one of them didn't ring. I was like, son of a beep. You know, me and Lisa got the same thing going on. What I did was, is I whacked it a few times with my hand, Lisa, and it started ringing. So just whack it a few times with your hand and yours should start working. But I did grab two. These are so freaking adorable. How cute are these? Oh my gosh. So here's what they look like. They're 46.5.5. They're 46 and a half inches by three and a half feet. They are precious. Now, are they absolutely perfect? No. You know, just check that, make sure your bells work. If not, whack it a little bit and it should work for you. Then Lisa showed these headbands that I hadn't seen yet either. So Lisa... I know you don't know me very well, but I do watch your channel all the time. So I'm giving you a thumbs up because if it hadn't been for you and me watching your channel, I wouldn't have found these. 
She had on these flashing headbands, and I was just dying. It was funny. She had it on her head. She had her scarf on. She was just rolling with it. So when I saw her haul them, I was like, oh, God, I got to go find them. So I did. I found a couple of them today. So this is what they look like in the package. They come with that little tab that, you know, you pull out the backside. And then it's got, like, three different adjustments by a button that's in the back here. So it can do three different things. So there's off, obviously. Woo, psychedelic. Then there's that one. So that's two. And then just that one. I don't know if I could go totally there. Maybe just, you know, for a while. But so let me see if I can get this on my fat head. There we go. So, hey, Lisa, go check out Lisa's hauls. <laughs> There's a free shout out for Lisa's haul. And Lisa's going to go, I don't barely know this woman. But she cracked me up so much, Lisa. You really did. And this is all influenced by you and you didn't even know it. So, love it. Thank you so much. Alrighty, so moving on, I was so happy to find the things that um, Lisa found because I was just kicking it all night going, oh my God, I hope I find these things. Okay, moving on. I did find a couple more pairs of the Snugadoo twos, and these are the socks. These are in the nine to 11, which fit me perfectly. These happen to be red and dark red, and then I found another pair that was blue with stars on it. What I love about these, and especially around the holiday times, is what I used to do. When my home was um, in Chicago, I had a very big home. And um, I always did the decorating. I did the party. I was just the party house. So when guests would come over, if they wanted to take their shoes off, especially women in heels and stuff, you get tired after a while wearing four and a half stilettos. I mean, come on. It is what it is. Um, you want to put something on, but you don't want to ruin your nylons? I used to keep a bunch of these by my front door in a basket. And I put help yourself on there. And you could just grab a pair, take off the tags, put them on, wear them for the night, take them home. I don't want your sticky socks back. I'm not washing them. You keep them. It's my gift to you. So just food for thought. You're having a party. You're having people over. You have women. If the dudes want to wear them, by all means. What You know, they got little grippers on them so you can't slide across the floor if you're drinking too much tequila. But put them in a basket by the door. Put a ribbon on it. Put on their help yourself if you want a pair. You know, whatever you want to do. It's just, it's about having fun. Okay, I then found another set of drawers. These are so pretty, and they're unicorns, but these aren't the dark ones that I showed you the first time. These are in more of a pastel color. Aren't those beautiful? And it's all my favorite colors. It's in a lavender and pinks. And then there's your drawers. What a great little way to put a gift in there for somebody or just put it on your dresser. If you... Excuse me, watch my channel. You always know that I put mine the other way and then I just flip the drawers around because I like my pattern to be on top unless I'm double stacking. If I'm double stacking, then it doesn't matter what color's there. And that's just a preference that you can switch it. The other way, if you choose to, you just take your drawers out and put them back in the other way. And no, I didn't measure that. And the reason I didn't measure that is because I forgot my ruler. So uh, I know you guys are out there, some of you going, yes, thank you. I hate that freaking thing. Okay, Pillsbury. Yum, the dough boy. <laughs> That's the first thing I think of. Chocolate chip cookie scented candle. This is a three ounce candle. I gotta tell ya. <sighs> There's the dough boy. There's the chocolate chip cookie. Let me show you what it looks like. Doo -doo -doo. Not that it's gonna make a difference, but it's in a clear candle. Don't know what the throw is because I've never tried the Pillsbury candle before. Eh, you know, it's got the Pillsbury seal on the front. In the glass, you can see it written right there. You know, they could have filled it up a little more, but hey, it's a buck. It smells nice in the jar. I'll admit it, it smells very nice. What the throw will be, I have no idea. Then, they had quite a few. So I did get two chocolate chip cookies. Then they had apple cinnamon pie. This one, you could smell. I mean, as soon as I hit it, it was like shoo, cinnamon right away. And I love the smell of cinnamon. This one smells, again, super lovely. Let me show you the color of this one. These are all just going to go in my candle cabinet. This one is more of like a reddish fall tone. Then they had iced cinnamon rolls. Ooh. I, I'm not so sure about that one, but that's just me and my sniffer, and my sniffer is not like all your sniffers. I'm not real thrilled with how this smells in the box. I'm hoping the throw will be better. Mm, I can hope that, but is it going to happen? I don't know. But, eh, you know, we'll see. And maybe I just got a FUD. Other than that, um, so apple cinnamon pie, iced cinnamon roll, 
chocolate chip cookie were the three different scents that I found at my store. Not sure what you'll find at yours. I did find another bottle of this skin nutrition stuff. Um, I'm not sure who exactly it was and my bad on me. Someone had commented um, down in one of my videos that I showed one of these in that it was like 15 bucks online or something like this. So this is a different one from the first one I showed you. This is a one ounce bottle, but this one is double strength retinol night repair serum. Flawless, younger, perfect skin. Voila. Double strength, again, by Skin Nutritions. And this is what the bottle looks like. You have to break the seal. It's in a dropper. I don't see any expiration date. Hmm. This possibly could be an expiration date encrypted or coded, but I'm not sure. So I can't really honestly tell you. I've never tried it. For those of you that have tried it or know anything about it, please feel free to comment down below and let me know a little more about this. Um, they definitely seem to be flying off the shelf because every time I go and I find something like that and this, the past two times, people have been like, oh, that stuff's really good. Okay, last but not least in my Dollar Tree haul today, I came across these. These are the Christmas boxes. These are a set. Um, they're individual, but there's three to a set because of the sizes. This says, have yourself a very Merry Christmas. Beautiful box. Here's your side design all the way around. Your backside is done in green. And your inside is in the red checkers. So they had this one. Absolutely adorable. Then they had the next size. Same exact inside. So they had this big size. Then this size, which fits into that one. Doesn't look like it does, but it does. There's barely a difference between the two. And then the third in the set looks like this, which here's the difference between those two that look just like that. So it's really not that much in the entire set for difference-wise, size-wise. As you can break it down right there, you can see the three. So I was happy to find those. Those are super, super cute. I know the red truck is so popular right now. Everybody is in love with the red truck. Um, I don't happen to be... Um, a red truck fan for decorating too many pre pieces, but I love the fact of the red truck delivering packages and delivering Christmas trees. To me, that's definitely, you know, old fashioned um, Christmas kind of stuff. So to see that on packages and stuff like that, I totally love. The last thing that I want to share with all of you, and I don't mean to be rude, but I have to bonk out a screen real quick for a second, is I put up a photograph of this which is a happy in a cup that I made from all Dollar Tree items, except for this little pen, which I paid 50 cents for and I purchased at Dollar General. So everything else is from Dollar Tree. This is a $5 gift right here in this cup. I did post a picture on my Instagram and Facebook. If any of you are interested in seeing how I made this or you wanna know how to make your own, please let me know and I'll be happy to put a quick video together for you. All I did was put it all together. I put some jingle bells here with a little tag and there's the lid with uh, attached to a big candy cane and there it is. What a wonderful presentation for anything or anyone. I hope you all had a wonderful time here with me this afternoon and got to see some of my tree there in the background. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful evening and I'll be back later on with, hmm, I'm not sure. I guess you guys will just have to wait and see. Bye for now. Thank you so much, everyone. Bye-bye.